This June, I was invited to give a presentation at the Royal Photographic Society of Northern Ireland. I gave a presentation about creating images with impact as well as did some post-processing examples using luminosity mass. Afterwards, a small group of us went out on a small excursion on the north coast, and that's what you're about to watch. I can't wait to go shoot in this. So we're going out on a bit of an excursion. We're gonna see what the surf is doing down this way. We've had like some crazy rainstorm come through and with some high winds and that usually drums up some pretty big surf. And it looks like the surf is getting nice and large. We'll see if there's a way to photograph it from over here. down to this little beach and the light is definitely shaping up. It was raining so hard earlier today that it's crazy that we're getting any light at all. So we're here on this beach by what they call Elephant Rock and we're gonna try to use that as kind of a background and see if we can get some water movement in our foreground. I also, as we walked by, there's a whole bunch of sheep around and I took a shot with sheep in my foreground, nice sky and stuff in the background. It's a fun little shot. But we're gonna go see if we can find a composition. Home to the mountain Home to the mountain Alright Neil, so what do we got going on? What do we got? Oh, what are we doing? Actually what we got. What are we doing? <laughs> what, what are we doing? Do we, like, Brief me before you do that. <laughs> uh, do, do you want me to talk intelligently? Yeah, so we're down at Ballantoy Harbour. We've moved along towards Elephant Rock, which is just behind the camera there, so you can't see it. The sun's just setting out towards the Giant's Causeway, which is just a few miles along the coast. There's guys just at this wee cove here, just working various kind of lengths of exposures, trying to express what's going on in the water, the rocks in the background, and the sunset. It's a promising scene. Hopefully, someone can get something. This is what we're shooting here. Back here is the rock that they call Elephant Rock. I guess, I guess I can see why. Light's starting to fade now. We've been using a lot of these rocks that are kind of scattered along the beach as our foreground and photographing the water kind of swooping around it and stuff. And the light is not like super dramatic and epic, but it's a whole lot better than what we thought it was going to be. Earlier, when we were grabbing dinner before this, sideways rain and it's just incredibly windy. It's still very windy, but the sideways rain stops, so we can at least photograph it. Got in some decent conditions, and I don't know if I have really came away with an amazing photo, but definitely a fun beach to shoot because we're the only ones here, and that's pretty cool. Today is the fourth day of being in Ireland, and I have a couple days before the workshop that I'm here to actually teach begins. So we're taking the opportunity to drive over to the Cliffs of Moher. It's a very long drive from the east side of the island, and it's about a four and a half hour drive. And on the way, check out where we're at. Absolutely gorgeous old abbey. There's so many awesome Celtic crosses and I think one of the things that I'm most drawn about Ireland in general is the fact that they have such deep history. On the west coast, we don't really have much in the way of history. Uh, nothing really, really old to go and visit like this. So I guess parts of this abbey were built in the 7th century. What an amazing place. So I'm just kind of wandering around. I'm waiting for some of the, the light to peek through the gaps in the clouds and really light up some of the older headstones, using those as a foreground element. 
and then this amazing tower in the background for the background element. So the first thing you need to know about the Cliffs of Moher, super touristy. We're showing up here, I don't know, two hours before sunset, and most people are leaving. That's the nice part about um, shooting around tourists is they all leave for dinner right around sunset. So there's only about 300 people here or so. This place can get really packed, I think, uh, during peak hours. So being here during the summertime when, when sunset happens fairly late, helps cut down on the amount of tourists, I believe. So I've seen a whole bunch of photos from this place, but I was not prepared for the scale. Like so many places, photos just don't do a place like this justice. Incredible. These are probably not the shots that I'm gonna like the best, but I'm going to take shots while we're while we're here. So I'm uh, just kind of waiting for the sun to set and enjoying this beautiful day. Also a little side note, technically I am on the wrong side of a fence. I'm doing something wrong. Kids don't do this at home. You're taking your safety into your own hands. Be careful. It'd be very hard to fall off, but I'm sure lots and lots of people have. Uh, right now it's really dry, so traction is good but when it's wet and rainy, it could get really slick up here because it's all mud, so be careful. So one of the things I'm doing now is kind of shooting telephoto and trying to get some of the seagulls that are flying around. We got some really nice kind of dappled light happening down on the cliffs, which make for a nice dark foreground when they're flying out here. And then it's just kind of all kinds of interest. It's so big and beautiful up here. Mostly photographers out here now, and there's not too many. It's scary being this close to the cliffs, but it's so beautiful. So it's kind of funny, I'm here at the Cliffs of Moher and one of my favorite shots is just this telephoto shot of these god rays coming out of this cloud. The light coming at is just streaming out of it. It looks really cool and it's funny because I'm here at this iconic location. I'm finding some artsy fartsy abstract shot of clouds and I'm loving that probably more than the other stuff that I've gotten. My settings for this are very simple. It's just ISO 100, F8, 1 3 20th of a second. Two second timer, that's it. Shots like this, I always visualize what it's gonna be like once I post-process it. I know I'm gonna add just a whole bunch of contrast to this shot and really like make it super contrasty and moody. I think it's gonna be a really cool shot. So the light is pretty much done and it looks like I was wrong about the sun poking underneath the clouds. It was close, but there was another cloud bank that I didn't see. It's still such an impressive, beautiful place. If you come here, be careful. This would be the world's worst place to fall over the ledge because uh, it's a long ways down. We're gonna pack up and go find our hotel for the night. Man, this place is gorgeous.